What's Aldi's? The rapidly growing discount retailer Aldi boasts of its superior store brand products, which are advertised to be as good, if not better, than the name brand. I'm here to test that claim by buying, comparing, and reviewing products from both Aldi and the name brand, all in an attempt to save you money and bring this information to you in full circle. Good evening, YouTube. Full circle review back here again with another review. This time I have. Kellogg's Cornflakes and Millville's Cornflakes. Let's just take a minute to appreciate how much these boxes look the same. There's just a difference of a rooster. Anyway, Kellogg's Cornflakes, the original and best. Serving size, one and a half cups at 150 calories, zero grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, and three grams of protein. Now, the best of I understand, Cornflakes is a corn cereal. So this should have some good flavors. And cool, it has a recipe on the back for uh, crispy chicken tenders. Pretty cool. Now for the Millville Corn Flakes. Serving size is one and a fourth cups at 140 calories, zero grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. We got the whole flipping day. There we go. Fried ice cream and cornflake chicken. Audis may be doing a one up here. Anyway, let's start off with the Kellogg's cornflakes. I flippin' love cornflakes. Growing up, uh, back in my grandmother's sewing shop, um, I love frosted flakes, but typically they were too expensive, so we would buy the cornflakes or the store brand cornflakes and sprinkle sugar on top. You know I love that. Alright. That's what they look like. Corn flakes. They're big flakes too. Mmm. Light. Airy. I wish potato chips had this texture. Natural corn sweetness. Just a hint of salt. Mmm. Hit it with milk. If I remember correctly, these soften up quick. I should have got some sugar to sprinkle on this just for nostalgia reasons. I don't know if I have sugar in the house. Do I have sugar in the house? Mm -hmm. Crisper and milk. Maintains that good roasted corn grain flavor. Texture is just spectacular. What I find so impressive is the first cereal ever made is the best. Ninety nine out of one hundred. I do wish the corn flavor was just the slightest bit more whole grain. And it could use maybe just a hint more salt. This is almost perfect. I would give it a perfect score, but I have to dream. Now the Millville corn flakes. Already, they, these look different. These look processed. These look like frosted flakes almost. May have to look at that fried ice cream recipe though. There they is. 
It's like rounder. Much harder. Not as crispy. Not as light. Strong horn flavor. These have the strong corn flavor that like frosted flakes have. It's a great flavor. It doesn't have that good salt kick that the corn flakes do. The Kellogg's. A bit harder in milk. This is about what I remember growing up with. A very strong um, corn flavor. I know this is going to sound odd. This is made with yellow cornmeal. What if they use white cornmeal? I feel like it'd be a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. It actually loses some of its flavor in the milk. Texture-wise, they're not even in the same ballpark. The Kellogg's Corn Flakes is so much better than the Millville. Millville has a stronger corn flavor. And it's actually a, a good roasted corn flavor. It just... it. It doesn't deliver texture-wise. Flavor-wise, it's very good. I'm going to give it a 92 out of 100. It's still a spectacular cereal. Just understand the Kellogg's Corn Flakes is the clear winner here because their texture is just so light, so airy, so perfect. So if you want to see more videos like this, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. But I'm going to go enrobe these in chocolate and chow down. Y'all take care.